It's funny. The, the, the biggest thing before seeing that Ricky Starks and MJF promo this week for me was probably the New Day showing up on NXT holding the title belt. Yes. But once hey. this, because, I mean, I don't know how long we've been waiting for this Ricky Starks. We knew it was coming. But I so feel when, when when we when we found out that that was going to be the match, that's what we said. How we but, knew it was coming. Math, how long has it been since because you saw Ricky Starks back in NWA? I it's been it's been so long that me and Ricky Starks had a conversation. And he said, I'm just waiting on my chance. Right. And he said that multiple times. He, he said, said that on the show. He said it in interviews. He's just waiting for them to put him up to bat. He'd been that guy, though. Yeah. We told you. We told you. The episode I shared a few weeks ago, um, when it was Jay Cargill's the anniversary of her debut, we talked about Ricky Starks that week. And um, I said, like, I never heard of him. I was like, you never watched NWA? He's like, no, nah, it was to me, it was a bunch of tna rejects and the whole point of tna it's, it's wwe rejects but mass like not this guy there you could see it then this was he 2020 we're talking about this and this is when he's starting to form team taz in a way and now we've had two years of him as fgw champ but wait and this whole year where he's trying to establish himself as that single star baby face for them which they just really need what Mimi, because yes. <laughs> as when it was going on last night for and Mimi, someone who hasn't been up on you when know how Mimi long this has been going on, yeah. Well, because Mimi was way. like, Yo, Mimi, I, I, I mean, I'm paraphrasing. Mimi said, Get him out of there, put him in the E, like Everyone tomorrow. Says that. I mean, it's on Everyone his way. says that, it's but gone. this Mimi, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's, when Mimi it's, say it is gone, I, I, it's, I, it's I, on his way. it because. She's also saying the people that were at WWE that are now there, there are, there's a reason they're now in AEW. Like, no, when did I say that? But wait, but wait, but wait, I don't want to derail. I don't want to derail because before before last night, MJF was the one who was like, "Yo, he need for a lot of people promo wise, he needs to be in the WWE." Last night, <laughs> I never saw that on my timeline, but I'm not trying I'm, to I'm, deduce. I'm, Last night, the douche <laughs> Ricky Starks. I mean, I don't know if it was because he was just on fire. I don't know if MJF hung back, but he stop, pre- it, stop what stop everything that stop what? every stop wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everything that because... Ricky Starks wait 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 wait, wait, right. wait, 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 wait. Everything that Ricky Starks said last night was accurate about MJF. Yeah. He said everything that was in my brain. He comes off cheap. He, there's nothing about MJF that makes me feel like, oh my God, what a promo. He's constantly yelling. There's no sustenance in any of the things that he says, in my opinion. Mm. It mm. sounds like he's whining. Last night, Ricky Starks' mm. promo sounded like he was literally telling a story. If I was somebody that did not know who he was, and just basically just said, you know what? Let me turn on. What is this AEW thing? Let me turn it on. And I saw that. He basically told me his whole life story without whining, without going down the woe is me lane. Mm-hmm. Period. I love it. No, I love it. <laughs> it sounded like that promo came from his gut. He'd been waiting on it. He, 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 that's, that's, he's had a song on his heart. And they finally gave me the chance to get in front of the mic and actually sing it. I was folding clothes and I stopped folding clothes. I stopped folding clothes. Sunday. I watched that promo five times. <laughs> I'm sure still there. I, I watched that promo five times. Got on the spaces and went to bed at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, AEW spaces. Talking about AEW. Talking about Ricky Starks. Can I? Shout out to my nephew. My nephew's in the chat. Shout out to my nephew. We've always shared the same sentiments when it comes to MJF. I feel you, Cal, when you said he's holding back. But when (laughs) people made that big big deal about um, Adam Cole, like, killing 
Um, carry it cross. Carry it, carry it cross. <laughs> when they make that big deal about Adam Cole killing carry it cross, like I think the worst thing that they could have did, AEW could have did now, was put MJF in front of Ricky Starks. Mm. Hold on. I'm no, no, keep why. going. Keep going. Keep going. Because my cousin, my cousin disagrees. <clears throat> but we always disagree. There's no, there's nothing new. Hey, keep right. going. Because you got your A guy, which is MJF, and you have Ricky Starks, our guy. And Ricky Starks knows that he's not looked at as the A guy right now. Mm-hmm. He's going to show you. Like, you know, in, in basketball, when this guy is matched up against this guy and the whole time is I'm going to show you why I should be the guy or why I'm better than the guy that you chose to be the guy. Mm-hmm. When that happens, it stops everything. It kind of it, it like shuts shit down. Yeah. Jordan and Clyde in the finals. What what happens? I'm not even talking Jordan Clyde. Let's say like. Kobe Pippen. When they put Scottie Pippen in front of Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant showed you, watch watch what's going to happen. He did it to Pippen the whole series. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh shit, he has arrived. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you do it. But you start to diminish your A guy because he, look at Cubs. Okay, the A guy didn't, he can't talk as well. All that shit, that that nigga's like, oh shit, he said blah, blah, blah. You start to figure out that his promos, we knew, we, well, we've we've said it that Simp has said it that this is reminiscent of Roddy Piper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've said Mm -hmm. You have, you have, you have. But motherfuckers start to see that the only thing that you have is the profanity. And these, these, um, not slurs, but these, whatever you do to the crap, the Mick, the, the Mick nasty yeah. filth, the filth, so, alarm so filth. When, you, when you put, when you put something with someone with substance, I think that's what, what Mimi said in front of this, you start to see that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, something may add up here. Wait what a minute, these and the only thing that you get back is that cheap, it, and then it goes extra cheap heel like oh i'm gonna kick him in the nuts and show him like kick dog him you gotta nuts. do something more than this bullshit mm-hmm. you've continued mm-hmm. with bullshit i don't believe you I, never I don't did. believe you I, so i'm gonna have to put y'all like this one and this one already like you go in listen when you go yeah, in you, you already don't like it but mm-hmm. before you go Mm-hmm. I specifically said my cousin told me that I'm watching it with my arms folded. My arms have not been folded for months. Six weeks I've and been I, watching AEW. I've specifically you said still, your arms are folded right now, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically funny. said when they when they did that show when he had that promo and he got out that Lambo or that Ferrari. Mm. I said, oh, this is hard. Mm. I said, this is hard. And I let it fly. And I was like, all right, one week he had a bad promo. The rest was cool. But it's the same. It's been the same promo for three years. But that was then, the homecoming promo. Like, that, like, we're going to make this guy look like the biggest star because he'll get the biggest pop. And then when you put him in front of somebody who's actually talking that talk, mm-hmm. you like, oh, this ain't the same. Mm-mm. Nigga, you've duped us, mm-hmm. and you can tell by his face here. Yeah, this he, is this is look like exposed. I know what's going. I know what's going to happen in this promo, but mm-hmm. he's cooking me. He looks exposed, ja. I think that's that the is point, one of though. The most under ahead, overused word, exposed, ahead, overrated. All these listen. I ain't use none of them. When this you are this is to me this might be the start of AEW's version of Stone Cold in the Rock. Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, no. No, let him cook. Let let him cook. Let him cook. Cause like we us cook. Let him cook. When you look at what these niggas is doing 
we talk about dance partners all the time right and the difference between what we saw when like mjf was getting the better of punk is they were going out and i i believe backstage there was no we we all know what punk was backstage now we do right where it, he was going out to win and mjf was going out to win when i tell you mjf and, and brother rick stocks is going backstage and so this is they sitting with each other planning this this is what we getting right now my nigga. that oh. right there everybody wants to dislike listen it's cool to like dislike mm -hmm. mjf blah 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 by the way i think the niggas watched the show because the pebble bar i heard before somewhere mm -hmm. anyway when they come out and you hear these two niggas, this is probably the best choreographed thing they've done because what you got from ricky and everybody loves ricky you got a john c in a promo i don't i don't let the people down i'm here for the people i pulled myself up by my own bootstraps then he read them he said your shoes look your shoes look bad you ain't got a girlfriend i hate your moms your mother's ugly like <laughs> there said you nothing, have a terrible haircut right there's nothing innovative mm -hmm. but in pro wrestling okay. innovative isn't what we need okay we just need entertaining mm -hmm. and that is what What's both of those gentlemen are mm -hmm. every time we see him mm -hmm. and it raises he the came bar. on to spaces last night and said he did not he not really divulge that he um what his creative process was but he definitely, from from what uh, Seahawk said, he he they did not work together. Um, yes, I'm gonna go on. I'm Mimi, gonna go done? into a yeah. wrestling space and tell it? everybody what we did. Hold on. I'm right just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just. You know, I don't like the show. I'm gonna tell. I'm always gonna talk about the facts. I'm not really gonna talk. I'll talk about my opinion. But I'm going to talk about the facts. If somebody says something, that's what he says. Whether it's real or not, I don't know. But I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm going I'm saying. to say, if they, if they, if they plan this shit with each other, if they didn't plan this shit with each other, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter when you're showing. You, you know, when two motherfuckers get on a song, they're going, they're going back and forth. They're going at each other without. Mm -hmm. They're on a song together, mm -hmm. but they're going at each other. Mm -hmm. We all judge to see who got eight. Right. We're sitting here watching MJF get eight. Who won the record? You can't. The problem. Think, the problem with that concept, though, here, is MJF doesn't want to be the person who with all these people sorry mjf don't no, want this and and this is this is the problem that you deal with 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 nick say oh yo um and that's really important is um but you you can't have a guy like mjf kind of get over and then kind of not you, you know what i'm saying like if if his promos are coming across and like oh he eviscerated this guy xyz you are going to you can't help but start like that guy that is how wrestling works he's the cool guy because they're not originals i don't think oh, oh. They, they're they're originals and they're not more homegrown so, he was they're there. not homegrown but they're day ones they were i mean no mjf is a day one he was there from the first day yeah i'm not ricky Starks. but that's not where he started they didn't train him we got but AEW doesn't have a training school do they no, nah. yeah. no. Nah. Well, when, when we say original, a Nightmare Academy. The, it's sort of kind, I mean, but Nightmare, Nightmare Academy is like six Philly niggas. Kids. Factory, factory. So, so what, what? What I'm saying? What you saying? When when we sit down and discuss shit, cause your argument is when we discuss MJF specifically. You say, cause you looking for this nigga to be a technician in the ring. It's a combined, it's a whole, it's a whole. You got talking and then you have the, the talking is a part of pro wrestling. 
That's what this this is what you bank on MJF as his talking. What I'm saying is you don't even do that well in this feud. Man, you I can't even out talk. Okay. No, no it's only because, no, 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 no. Cuz, listen to me. Listen to me. What I'm saying is I've heard MJF segment for three years. I've been saying this. He's been there is me. nothing new in pro wrestling except for maybe Roman Reigns. No ideas of nothing Ricky new. Starks did yesterday was new or innovative. At whether all. or not nothing it was, was new, whether or not matter. it whether or not it was new, the execution it was great. Execution the was great. It was great. MJF's music. execution is redundant. You listen to it's rap redundant. music. If you he listen- said the same thing three different ways. I can see what you're talking about. He does nothing about what he does and what he says is different. It's not different. The reason why it hits is because it's in front of somebody who, who can't talk as well. Right. So when, when I look and I see MJF come name him, name him. Because when CM Punk came out and CM Punk was talking, talking what he was talking, it was like, yo, MJF cutting CM Punk up. And I'm like, yo, he's saying the exact same shit he was saying before. But then when when Ricky Starks comes out and he says something that's not original, it's not original. It's not. He's cutting MJF ass up. He's cutting him up. He cut him up. Come on now, you putting sauce on it like All right, it, see it now you okay. Like so so right? okay, so okay we're going no, no. we're going into semantics. Mm-hmm. He yeah, cut him up. It, 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 yeah, because that's he cut him up. So what happens? So what happens? Him. What happens when it's in the ring? The other part of wrestling. Oh, the match match. What happens when it's the wrestling part? Oh, the wrestling part will be great. You know why? Because, because Ricky Starks will carry him there too. You'll, you'll get to see Ricky Starks be Ricky Starks, and we talk about this. He's not the wrestling nigga. He he can't even talk with he, he's the talk. So now MJ can't, can't okay, talk with him. I'm cool. Next topic. They said cool. now he can't talk. No, no, now he can't talk. No, you didn't listen. You, no. you got he's look at you emotional. Hold on. You look like you emotional. Hold on, hold on. Not emotional, but you're you emotional. Ridiculous. No, what I said is talk. what I said is he can't talk with the talking nigga. I said what I said. Well, I, this this is why right, I'm so, a, okay, fine. Th- this is why. <laughs> This is why I did. This is why I didn't want to have the MJF Ricky Starks no, conversation okay. no, this at is 10 a.m. because this, this is great okay. pod material. Yes. I don't. This is great because because this nigga arms folded. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> nigga, this is week one. Exactly. This no. is week one. Wait, wait. But, but, but no, it's all right. Right. Bad. No, 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 no. Bad. It's already been targeted. You shooting bail. You shooting bail. Wait, what you mean? I'm shooting bail. Listen, listen. listen. Before, before Ricky Starks came on AEW, I was seeing these random clips, interviews. Uh, what did they vignettes when he was wherever he was, and I was just like, who is this? Oh my god! Stop. Watch twice. Three times, never the Thank same you, thing. Kendra. Never the same thing. Always a movie. Last night was a movie. What's a great Chris Brown match? What's a great Ricky Starks? Wait, this is, this is what I think. You gonna ha- you gonna have to catch him prior to like when he actually gets time. You gonna have exactly. To you're you're gonna have to find matches you're where he's able to, to actually work. Florida. Shout out to shout out to We Love Wrestling. You are gonna have to yes. catch him from Florida. But what until I was that, saying until that injury that oh, man, oh, good. oh, public enemies, you already know. You, you are you, you, you done seen the headline. Yeah, we, when, when, we got it. We, you, you, I appreciate it. salute, salute. Actually, you know what? Public enemies just opened up their Patreon as well. I was the, last night they announced it. If you want to, you know, put a little ducket, a couple little ducats over there as well, they doing they they putting out exclusive content too. Shouts to the enemies. Um, what I was saying was winners coming is literally next week. I was confused about why Ricky Starks had to go through the Diamond Battle Royal if he already had the match secured, and the shit is kind of fuzzy, but guess what? No, it's because MJF wasn't going to compete in the Battle Royal while being champ. But guess what? We done talked Sorry, about this shit about 20, 30 minutes. They about to wrestle next week. I'm assuming this feud is not going to be over next week. 
while all of this is going on, oh shit, there's a chance it might be. Yeah, Bullshit. Brian Danielson and MJF over. is what they want. This is over. Why it's over because they, because William Regal got taken out by MJF and Brian Danielson is the student of William Regal. That's the story that Tony Khan is booked and planned. This Ricky Starks thing might change it, so they might kind hold of up, push hold that up. back. Can, can, they can, have, can I have a, they have can, three months until Revolution? Can, can so I have, they can get can a few more a, weeks out of Ricky Starks and MJF. But, can I have a conversation real quick? Because I, I I feel like people for I understand that. Because every like pro wrestling promoters are talking, so there's forbidden doors that's open, and there's dream matches that can happen all the time. I don't know what's going to happen, but they just announced that Mercedes Renato is going to be at Wrestle Kingdom. She may be in the crowd. We may see her competing. I don't know, but it's really easy in 2022, 2023 to make these things happen. What I'm saying is, just like I don't need to see Sami Zayn wrestle Roman Reigns tomorrow, no matter how much y'all love what was going on in that ring, we can take some time. I'm not saying Ricky Starks has to win the title next week and, and the, the, the feud is over. No, you shouldn't. The pay-per-view ain't until next year. We got like a month, two months and some change. Mm -hmm. While all – I I math. You with the you you got you you hit me with the gas face, but what I'm saying is, oh, while, no, I'm rubbing my eyes because they hurt. I, you hurt, but but what I'm saying is, while all this is going on, what's going to be happening? Ricky Starks is going to be on that microphone doing the damn thing. He speared the fuck out of, this nigga out of his shoes mm. yesterday, <laughs> that, and that was just the uh, one move that was done during the promo. Now, now let me ask you a question: Who who should get credit for that? What do you mean credit? Credit for for MJF getting speared, speared out, of, out his of his shoes. I mean, he. I will say, I noticed that he had them pink ass socks on when he walked down <laughs> to the ring. So I'm I'm not surprised that that was a spot in there. I and, and I'm assuming he because I don't know I don't know where the shoes went. I I, I didn't see the shoes. Hey, answer this question for me, Kat. What's up? Where's Powerhouse Hobbs? Please, we need to know. Back in the bay. Back in the bay. Now, where's Hobbs? No, I'm just no. I need that question answered first. Do, but do I have to rewind? And and because I'm not going to act like I've not sat here and stumped for Starks and Hobbs not getting the time. The, again, don't hit me with that question. Like we ain't been on this pod. No, I'm asking you. No, because no, no. Because, because you because, you, because, no, it's, because it's, you, it's not just a no, question though. It's no, not just a question you, though. You just sat there and said. That this is going to happen. This I'm talking about Starks, though. I'm talking about the people that's cool. in the program. I'm asking you about Hobbs. That makes Ho sense. But 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 what? Uh, Hobbs ain't in the program. So I I mean, I, Hobbs' situation is fucked because he ain't in the program. Hobbs he ain't doing just, shit right Hobbs now. Just beat the stuffing out of Ricky Starks. The, the, and, and, and what I'm and what I've said before on this pod and in other places is that that program was dumb. So, it, it, it didn't even need to go down like that. And B, they didn't give it if they were going to have them feud. They didn't even give that feud the time it needed to be given. But but you mm. you're assuming Starks and MJF are going to meet down the line. I'm, who who else is? I mean, after last night, because this is my thing. This is my thing. AEW does two things. They do shit that's very obvious, and then they do shit that they build for the future. Mm -hmm. Ricky Starks don't feel like that was a nugget that they're going to place down the line. But what I'm saying is I think they're going to do shit right now, and then they're going to let Ricky Starks cook, and then that shit's going to happen. There's no way you're not going to let Ricky Starks be the number two. Okay. I don't, I don't have the confidence. So I think that the, the the thing that we know is that MJF is going to get a run here. Yeah, right? he's the guy that they That's use on all their baby faces at the beginning, all their stories early. The main event scene was blank and MJF, Cody, MJF, uh, 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 Chris Jericho, MJ, all the niggas is how they. You know what I'm saying? And he lost, and he lost, and he lost, and he lost. So now this is where. And it's not going to be by a valiant effort or he put on a great match. That's never what we're going to get with here. It's going to be a heel. So Darby Allen. It's going to be a heel heel in the wind. 
You know what I mean? And and so, but it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a a a run. He should at least get six months with this title. At, well, I was going to say bare minimum. So, well, let me ask a question. Let me uh, on 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 the flip. Uh, not talking about MJF. Let let's let's stick to Ricky Starks. Mm-hmm. Last night was what it was. Coming out party. Like this is who I am. That I am that guy. Now y'all niggas have to figure out what to do with me. Because Mimi, I don't know if they knew what they had until last night. Mimi, math, I don't know who want like what not not I'm I, I mean I'm, let me just let me just add what mm-hmm. what do you, what, where would you like to see Ricky Starks go from here from last night talk of the town got over on the champ for a night. Ideally, where would you like to see Ricky Starks go? He needs to be in MJF's place. Ha, like next, next. So are you saying winter is coming? I don't. Should, I don't know he, when their pay per views are. Like I don't know no, what well, the no, trajectories. Well, like well, I don't know when the how the it's scheduled. I I need the program to end up with Ricky Starks being the face of the company. Well, well, well. Let, let me say next week is winter is coming on Dynamite. Ricky Starks, MJF for the AEW World Championship. And I guess the diamond ring is also worked in yeah. there somehow. But I mean, so. potentially Ricky Starks could beat MJF and be champion next week. I don't think that that makes sense. I think that story needs to play out. What? What? That's why I'm asking. What is what, when you say play out? What? What do you? Where would you? What's the ideal When's scenario the next one for in this? 2023. When's the next one? In March. So you're saying March. no. The thing is, March. he loses now to somehow get another chance to win at the pay per view, but. Again, there's three months in between to fill it, and there's this, you know, Brian Danson angle waiting in the rings for MJF. But like, what Ricky Starks will do in the meantime is what go back to what he's doing before and fight the likes of Ethan Page and whoever else is supposed to be the mid card heel for him to beat up. Why you keep bringing so so? Wait, so so this he's just a transition to what yeah. really is going to happen. They're mm-hmm. using. Ricky Starks as a transition. Don't don't like don't, I said, don't I agree. Don't, don't don't confirm that off of what Drip's saying right now because he keeps saying Brian Danielson and Brian Danielson going to tell you, nigga, I just want to wrestle. In Japan. He's not going to win the title. He's going to be he's going to be someone to put MJF over. Like Pam says, like this is how he gets another notch in his belt. Like look who I've beaten. I've beaten Brian Danielson. What are you basing that off of wrestling. though? What That's are you basing that off of? The reign of terror run that they're. What what are they saying that this is supposed to be? That's no, why it's not working. But but wait. Because this man is going to go, this man is literally saying, I'm going to go on and win and beat all your faves and you're going to hate me. And but, it's but, be- but you're talking about Brian Danielson having a program or just having a match? A program. It'll be a program. Okay. Why, why would, why would, wait, wait, I'm, Mimi, I'm sorry. Mimi, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, why, yeah. why would Danielson be the program when everybody's told me for the last two years that the last thing Danielson wants to do is to be near anybody's title? Mm-mm. Why would that be the the program? It's not about him winning the title. He was just no, why, for the ROH title. What do you mean? Why would he bother being in, wrestling this man for two three months for a championship? He's not going to want to win. That's if, what he's if, been y'all, doing. y'all told y'all told me when when he had them two matches with Adam Page. When he had the matches against Jericho, when he had the matches against Moxley, oh, Cal, chill the fuck out. Don't worry about it. Danielson's out there wanting to teach the youth, and he wants to go wrestle in the fucking G1 Climax. Now in 2023, he's the guy that's going to be the first program for MJF. That sounds crazy if that's, JS, if that's going on. Oh, that makes which sense. Which is May to full it, gear, which is that, November. It went six months that whole thing. That, that just sounds great. You got to put, put – you have to put main event level talent that, that can – afford to lose against MJF. If 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 Daniel Bryan loses to MJF, like. then he, he's always still going to be Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson. I always. get this. No, I, so, I get So he's I'm, a perfect candidate. To oh, try, I, it. So it makes sense. And and that's 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 it is it has to make sense wrestling wise, right? So I'm just surprised there, it makes sense now is my thing. Yeah, who the hell else would it be? Well, that's been the other it, it, question. It's, it's eventually going to be Page, Hangman Page. Should, Page should is go in there at some point. Perry is next up. No, is right now it I'll, would make it would make sense for the nigga. Like he put he put knuckles away. to the back of of William Real. William. That's what I'm saying. That's, but well, and mind you, mind you, because you're you're saying Brian Danielson, 
who wasn't there last night when Regal cut that promo about, oh, well, here's the, the prophecy I got for y'all to learn in the future. That was Moxley, Claudio, and Yuta. So that's why I'm confused when people are bringing up Brian Danielson. Yes, Brian Danielson ran out when Regal got knocked out. But he wasn't on the show this past week, and he wasn't the one that he was talking. He 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 mentioned Danielson in the promo, but it was those three on TV being like, how they "What the fuck is he talking storytelling. about?" Storytelling, like we're gonna reference that's this layered storytelling. Two. Okay, that, what do you mean? We've talked about this for two years now. How yeah, I know. Stop and, and, and start. Stop and, and, and start. Just to yeah, I know. And and and, and 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 the shit always looks awkward when we get to this point where it's like, why would you throw? Because there's a swerve that we always see coming again. They linked up him and William Regal Why? So he can punch him in the back of head. Like, who oh, didn't I see that? Wait, now that you was said it from the start. This is about MJF holding back, not because he was gonna body Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks is the only guy they put in front of him who was gonna cut him up, like we've been saying, and not look bad. But wait, drip. He was drip. not gonna miss. I'm curious. Compared, like, how like, would everyone else? How would everybody else? But like, what would y'all, what would y'all rather see then? Like, who, who, who do you think would make sense to be next for you, Kev? Honestly, Wardlow's doing nothing right now. Wardlow is doing nothing. If, if, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a, a situation where we're just gonna work the numbers and paint by numbers up until Revolution. The Wardlow storyline, they was in the middle of the ring with a whole table. They Wardlow used to be his homie. They, this was for, again th that it, it's got it's got years. That but that's the one. Like, but you kind of have to do that right now because at some point Wardlow is going to be doing something. But he's Wait, cool is, right now. Is Throw Wardlow him in and Joe and them all they all finished? Are they people? Finished? I don't I I that's the thing. In the chat, they're saying that Hobbs was spitting at Samoa Joe, but Wardlow was also beef Samoa Joe took Warlow title so I don't know if there's going to be something with them at some point he's facing Juice Robinson at final battle they but that's for the, the ROH yeah, TV yeah. title they yeah, when, when I you know I mean this this shit really feels like this con this whole conversation feels like when I walk in the room and like the the VH1 shows is on and shit <laughs> and Pamela is arguing with Cynthia and um Damascus walk in and he he's arguing with Joseph and then uh Demetria hop in and then there's drinks flying and shit and I'm like why are everybody mad it, it I'm not and mad I don't know what's going no, what I'm saying I don't know what the fuck going on and the the only thing the only answer that I have for all of this is to turn the shit off well, no, 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 no. It's too much. Well, what we'll, we can hop to a next talk, a topic, but I will say this: the the answer is not turn us off because again, yeah, I don't know where. Warlow no, is. because again, outside of all this, Ricky Starks is the bottom line. Ricky That's Starks right. was on TV. He, Ricky Starks is out. My wife, I'm sitting there watching this shit on the TV. My wife is playing the game. She was like, "Oh, nah." Stop. I never heard no shit like that before. That was that was some real shit I just heard on the TV. Right. She don't care nothing about this wrestling. Ricky Starks, if that was the first time, like maybe we saw, if this is the first time you tuned into AEW and you, you saw Ricky Starks pouring his heart out in the ring against the champion who looks like a little putz a with boy. his little faces y'all was talking about. A I boy. mean, hey, I mean, he if it was mole, did he? Low key. <laughs> That shit got okay. hair coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I'm saying hey, I, mole, I, I'll say this: that mole is not at the top of the tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, Ricky Starks, and I mean, if if you look at the Black Wrestling podcast, Ricky Starks been a star. We we've, we've been right. waiting for this to happen, and you know, like we were saying on the timeline, it's funny to see that. Uh, you know, the shouts out to the timeline for uh, being so invested in uh, this Ricky Stark situation because we kind of told you. So what well, happens when Ricky Starks loses what, next week is Ricky what Rock Starks, has. all I'm going to say is Ricky Starks is nobody's transition. Ricky Starks is the prize. Well, he should not be transitioning to anybody. Well, I mean, I think that's the flip side, that though. I mean, if, That was a low blow, Mike Steph. If, if he loses, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That, that, that was crazy. Spray teams the <laughs> If if uh if Ricky Starks loses next, I mean, well, I mean, we're all assuming that Ricky Starks is not winning next week, right? He's not, unfortunately. So 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 then, what? Where do we see what? Like, what's the best scenario it's for Ricky his, Starks? 
That's my question. This is that was why. Go to WWE. Man, get me out of here. This I is don't know. I, how you were right when they trips when give him a contract, hold him back to make so Ricky Starks can build himself to the people. Like Cody, the come example get him. is perfect. Like let this guy go off, I'm a so people mute. can see the star that this guy is that they haven't been seeing because he's been underutilized for months and months and months. Now he can go come and carry the mid card. As a TNT champion, once he takes his title off, Samoa Joe. That's that's the conversation people would have, and is that Ricky, and that's why we did a whole episode. Sure and what did I tell you with that out. episode? That this they guy will be able to build build feuds week to week off the strength of his talking. He can carry a guy for two weeks or two months. Cal, this is, why, the uh, this is Somebody. why I ask you, Cal. Where's Hobbs? Well, I mean, because well, Ricky Starks. This is. <clears throat> Ricky Starks is nobody's right, transition, Brown. but That's MJF's. Right. He steps but on people. He don't. He's, he don't he's step on MJF's him. transition, and and Starks is my man. I'm a ride for Starks for forever. Right. That's a neighborhood legend, boy. Mm. It is what it is. That's right. I'm a neighborhood legend. On cue. Mm. That's probably you. That's you know, see. That's the thing. Is there's no. There's no. There's no. Like, there's no slide in being a transition for the champ. This is the first thing that right. they actually invested in. Right. The championship never meant anything. So, this is the first time they said, All right, we got a guy. Let's go. First time they gave him, this is the first time they, they said, All right, you're going to start. Handed the nigga the ball, he ran four touchdowns. So, uh, this being your first game, don't make you MVP of the league. Now you have the aptitude for it, and it's probably better. But now it's, it's all right, man, run my mid card first. Is it? Is Am it my mid card easy? Huh? Is there is it MVP of this league? Of this league? Currently, who could you say other than? No, MVP, nigga, I, that's a real question. Say, You'd have to say either MJF or uh 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 uh, uh what's his name husband John no, uh, Moxley is the mm. I'm looking at him sideways now. Is he the MVP? He's not. For, he put a for, lot of work for, in for working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for work. yeah. For a the AW MVP. Yeah, that nigga canceled two vacations. And he's still he's still in there. He was he was in there looking at Will and Regal like what what I do? Yeah, what like yo, I do. You, and you, now you Will about to take a scripted. vacation. Yeah, you know we scripted that. this right. Like it's not <laughs> it's not real. Why are you crying? 